Hello there everybody, Sam Trains here, welcome to the, well, I was going to say welcome to the railway, but clearly that's not what we're doing today. So today, thanks to a request from United Forever, that's the YouTube user, I'm going to be revisiting one of my favourite train railway building games from my childhood, called Locomotion, by uh, a guy called Chris Sawyer who at the time was very well known for creating just a little baby series called Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm sure one or two of you may have heard of that. It was a little bit successful. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really decent game. Uh, it's actually a lot more modern than it looks. I think it came out sometime in 2005, 2006, some, some, around that sort of time. It looks like it's from the 90s, but it's not. Uh, so as you can see here, it is about railways, but also uh, as the game goes on, you get to, you unlock sort of jumbo jets and trams and all sorts of other things, buses and things. So I've decided I'm going to try and do Great Britain and Ireland in 1930. It's, uh, well, let's see what it says. Build up a transport network in 1930s Great Britain. We've got to achieve a company value of £300,000. There we go. And we're starting in 1930. So let's have a look. Ooh, what are we going to call it? Shall we be boring? Yeah, let's be boring. Call it Sam's Trains. And you also get to pick what you look like as well. <laughs> there we go, he looks like Gresley. I'll be him. My uh, idol, let's say. No, not really. Okay, so I'm just going to hit pause because obviously uh, time can run away with you in this game. So here we have this very... Well... I mean, it looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Representation of the UK and of Ireland, of course. And the interesting thing is there's also a 1900s version of this scenario, which uh, which I have played before quite recently. Um, so, yeah, this is it. This is what we've got. Shall we see what's available in terms of trains and things? So, look, it's all stuff we recognise. <laughs> so you've got the Sterling 8-foot. Is that going to be the Sterling single? It looks like it. Uh, you've got an EMU, which is strange because I wouldn't have thought that would have been around in 1930, I could be wrong. Fowler 4F, 3F Ginty, Gresley A3. Uh, so as you can see, whoever, well, Chris Sawyer, presumably, who made this, uh, obviously did research into what's available. And then you can actually build up your trains, of course, with uh, flatbeds and all, all sorts of other wagons. You've got buses. Uh, I don't know much about buses, but you've got the WMC bus on the Vul Vulcan. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. Trucks as well. You can set up trucks. Uh, oh, we do have trams at this point, um, as you can see. <laughs> 20 passengers. How much do the buses carry? 12 passengers and 14. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got a few planes available as well. Uh, let's see. Anyone recognise those? I seem to recognise the name F7. And boats, of course, as well. So you've got these lovely boats and things. So what we need to do is uh, get set up, really. Now, are there any... We need to take a look at our objectives, which I think are here. So, yeah, all, yeah that's all we've got to do then. Uh, just get a company value of 300,000. Uh, crikey. It's going to be quite the challenge, isn't it? So, let's zoom in then and have a quick look. So, as you can see, it's just full of different cities, well, towns at this stage, really, and different industries, for example. We've got Sheffield coal mines here, producing coal. There we go. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's that. And basically, we have to just uh, set up a transport company and see if we can't uh, make some money. So, what shall we do first? Well, let's have a look at a list of the towns and find out which is the highest population, which is, of course, London. I suppose that makes sense. So, I mean, if we're going to start a bus service, we'd probably do it between London and... Cambridge and Chelmsford, I would say, but we need to we need to start with something a little bit more profit generating, if that makes sense. So let's have a look and see if we can spot some industries here that could benefit from our help. So what's this? Requires chemicals or steel? No, we won't bother with that. Uh, what's this? Producing iron ore. Okay. So what we've got to do is I to start with like to set up a train line that just delivers goods to a certain industry and that's normally quite profitable and uh, so that's a nice backbone to sort of work from what's this we've got a farm here producing grain and you have to look because obviously if you build a very long railway it's, it gets expensive and obviously we've only got 26,000 to start with uh, which isn't a great deal not a great deal uh, and obviously if we go up into Scotland it gets difficult because there's hills and things we'd have to build railways through the hills so we don't want that we definitely don't want that um, yeah this is getting uh... oh what's this I think that's producing chemicals oh no that's not much good um, so there's a lot of farms I wonder if there's any food processing plants around here there is a there is a sort of cheap way to find them if I don't spot any very soon, I will have a look. So we can have a look at the list of industries, uh, the status. And we can have a look for ones that require grain. There we are. 
So at Portsmouth Flour Mills, that's not too far away. Ah, look, so they require grain. Any more? I'm not very good with my geography, so Belfast, no, these are no good. A lot of them in Ireland, which isn't very helpful to us. Scarborough, that's not dreadfully far away. Yeah, but that's a lot smaller than the Portsmouth one, so Portsmouth still wins, I think. I uh, don't know where Wexford is. Oh no, that's Ireland again. <laughs> right, Scarborough, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Norwich. They're all flour mills, that's strange. Oh, Norwich flour mills is rather big. Are there any others that require livestock? Ah, here we are. Yes, the food processing plant. London area, that's all Ireland. Leeds, that's quite far away. Yeah, there's one. Oh yeah, there we go, look. So there's a farm right there producing grain, and then we've got the food processing, well, plant, yes, just there. So that's handy, that's a decent start, that's a really short way to cover with a railway, as you can see. So we will do it, let's try it. So the railway building stuff is really, really good. To start with, we're just going to have a single track, but uh, there's all sorts you can do. You can set up signals. Look, you've got all different sorts of signals you could use, which is great. Um, you can electrify them. You can opt to build an electric third rail stations, obviously. Um, but we're just going to make this basic to start with. We'll just stick with steam, I think, because it's good and cheap. So let's build a station here on the games unpaused. And the great thing about this is the music, of course. Um, the music synchronises with the age that you're in at the, in the game time. So at the moment we've got 1930s music. If you were going to play a, a scenario from the uh, early 1900s, you get all Scott Joplin and ragtime and things. So it's great. It's a lot of fun to play. And quite educational too, I seem to remember, for my uh, what eight-year-old self when I first discovered this. So there we go. No signals required, of course, so we put a station here at Leeds and a station here at the farm. Oh, hang on. Have I got the right thing? I think the food processing plant can have grain or livestock, can they not? Yes, so that's all right, and this is producing grain, yes. Yeah, you have to be careful, and as you can see, look at this, this is the great thing. The grain is already starting to wait at the station. We've got 30 tonnes of grain waiting. So the only thing to do is get a loco. What do you fancy, folks? Um, well, I'm recording this, so there's no point asking. So the sterling is only five grand. Let's pause again while we get this sorted. Uh, so that's five grand. It's got a power of 400 horsepower. That's for passengers. That's 6,000. I'll tell you what, it's a flat line. It's not got very far to go, so I reckon... How come a Jinty costs a little bit less than the sterling? You'd have thought they'd be hugely different, wouldn't you? Um, well, we'll go with the Jinty because we don't need an awful lot. Uh, okay, so that's that, and then we also want what we transporting grain, I think. So we need tanker, no wagon, uh, no. <laughs> oh, I hope we can. I hope we've got something that we can shift grain with. Oh, there we are. Missed it. It was at the top. So let's put four of those on. As you can see, we're down to fourteen grand now, so it's cost quite a bit. There we go. Pop the train down, and I'm sure there's a way. There's a cheat that allows you to actually control the trains as though you were driving a train set, which is really awesome, but I can't remember what that is. So uh, stop at Sheffield then, where we will wait for a full load of grain, and then we'll stop at Leeds and unload it, um, which needs to go at the bottom. There we go, off you go then, Mr. Jinty. And there it goes. Let's see if this works. So it should load up the grain. Let's have a look. Yep, it's full of grain. It's, oof, look at that, it's struggling. So it's a bit of wheel slip there, but we're all right. And then it should take it to Leeds, and we should get our first payment, by which time we should figure out how much we're going to earn from this thing. I love the way these uh, steel uh, steel mills sort of flash. I love that. It's a bit like a model railway in that sense. So we got 400 quid. <laughs> That's not an awful lot, is it? But uh, it's a good start. It's a good start. So shall we... I reckon we've probably got enough to start a second industry. Yes, 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 that's good. Okay, so we've got power stations near London. You would have thought they would require quite a bit of uh, coal. So let's have another look at the industries and take a look. This game, by the way, is available on Steam very cheaply as well. So it will work on most uh, modern PCs, which is great, obviously. So, yeah, check it out on Steam. It's called Locomotion. Do, do, oh, this music, it gets catchy, believe me. Right, I'm checking, uh, Aviemore, Aviemore, that's, uh, oh, Sheffield. 
So they're the coal mines, are they? That looks like a steel mill. Okay. And what's that? So as you can see, we've got a bit more of a distance here. I think the longer distance you carry the goods, uh, the more you earn. So here we've got a coal mine here and a power station that I've just spotted right next door. So if we can afford to, I will uh, create a second railway. Well, there's a clever button you can push. Which one was it? There we go. You can see through the trees there. So yeah, we need to build another railway there, uh, just past Leicester. So let's do that. I'm going to set it up slightly, if I can. Can I? I don't know how to do that, yeah. Um, okay, never mind. Uh, we'll just dig, I expect. So there we are. We are actually destroying fields of livestock, which I think costs slightly more to do, but that's all right. So as you can see, rather than putting hills on the track, I'm just digging through the earth so as not to have to spend even more on... Uh, and of course, the trains go very slowly too, up and down hills. Well, not so much down, but up hills they do. Um, so yeah, it's worth your while to make it nice and uh, flat, if you possibly can. So again, it's just going to be a single track. There we are. Very, very, very close to the steel mill. I'm going to turn this off now. So that's a station built at Sheffield Mines, and another one at Leicester, which is the power plant. There we go. So we'll do this, and then we'll set up a passenger a passenger network and see if we can't uh, set up some really decent uh, trains and stuff. Uh, okay, well, let's try a Stirling single this time then, because nothing says coal train like a Stirling single, does it? Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put six on, shall we? Let's be brave. So it's quite a big train. Uh, now, the weird thing is the trains can just change direction at will, um, which is odd. However, they can't pass each other like they could on Railroad Tycoon 3, which is where signalling and things come in. Gets interesting, does that, but we're okay for the time being, because I'm just building single track, single train businesses. <laughs> Apologies for that, that was horrible. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bit of a cold this time, so please excuse me if my voice sounds rather unfortunate or horrible in other words okay so for some reason it went to Leicester first but hopefully it will pick up some coal when it gets here have we got any coal waiting well as you can see we've also got passengers and mail waiting which is a shame because I'm not going to be able to take them but 161 tons of coal is certainly a lot do, 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 do. so there we go the wagons are full of coal and now they'll get delivered hopefully to the power station which will power Leicester I guess and you've got all these horrible events as well where things shut down and things. Uh, so you have to, hopefully, I mean, generally speaking, if you're supplying a place with goods or taking the goods away, uh, the place is deemed profitable and I don't think they shut down. It's normally ones that aren't occupied or aren't being used. So that was a really good pay packet. That was 900, 900 quid. So that's great. Um, oh, we get to name the train. Okay, Michael, that's a good name for a train. Okay, so let's go to London, as we originally said, and uh, set up a transport company, because something that does happen is that you get rival companies spring up, and uh, yes, they, uh, they tend to pick the lucrative places, so I ain't going to let that happen. So, let's build, let's see here, yeah, that's, that's good, so let's build a couple of passenger stops uh, in London, like that. And then we want a uh, road that links London to Kelmsford, if I'm saying that right. Probably not. So there we go. And then from there, we could go to Cambridge. Ah, we'll try to resist the singing, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. So that's that, uh, what we need to do. So let's see, we've got two passenger stops in there, so we'll have one just here you can see that blue area that's the sort of reach area of the station so try and get as much of these in as we can uh, let's go let's bridge to Milton Keynes as well so as you can see I'm setting up a network and then what you, what I like to do is build another le network a reasonable distance away oh we're out of cash <laughs> oh dear so we can speed the game up a touch and uh, yeah so you set up a second network some distance away and then you can set up um, a, a railway, a train, which carries passengers and post all the way across the countryside. And uh, yeah, 
obviously if you had the uh, patience you could build quite a, a serious network of, you could build British Railway network if you wanted to on a sort of small scale you could do everything with it it's really fun so I'm gonna have to start getting this bus service set up because we are seriously low on cash now I could take out a loan I suppose so station at Milton Keynes I'm considering biting the bullet and building another road from Milton Keynes back to London so that we can have a, a circuit. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, we're going to have to take out some loan. 27, 28. Blimey, that seems a lot because we've got 10% interest a year, which isn't great. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll have to live with that, I suppose. Um, I don't know how we changed the type of road. I was using different road a minute ago, which was better. Never mind. There we are. Okay, so we can build a bus. In fact, what we could do is... So what's better? Well, we can't afford either. But we'll go with the one that's a bit more modern from 1921, which has a capacity of 14 passengers. So I think we'll do that. Uh, so we'll just have to wait one second while we uh, get enough money to start this off. And buses, generally speaking, aren't that lucrative, but it is nice to sort of help develop these cities and places into much bigger cities. Um, so that's why I'm doing it, because then you can make some money from it, but not right now, but that's why I started off with the, the engines, of course. So the bus is going to go from London to London Lakeside, to Kelmsford, to Cambridge Central, back to Milton Keynes, and then it will start again at London. So that's that. Open. And it's gone the wrong way. Excellent. Perfect. I wouldn't expect any less. So there it goes. Oh, there we are. It's turned around now. So I wonder if it's actually got any passengers. Do, do. No, not one. <laughs> Normally it takes a little while for these uh, to establish. Well, I hope they're going to get some. Do, 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 do. Have we got any waiting? Yeah, well that's not very good. What can be the matter? Hopefully they will start to, to use it. I'm going to set up a second one anyway. That goes in the other direction. So it starts at London. And it goes to Milton Keynes, Cambridge Central, Cambridge, Kelmsford, London Lakeside. There we go. Right, now we just have to hope <laughs> that they actually get some passengers. I'm sure they will eventually. That's very strange. Oh, 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 no, we're good, we're good. That's it. I've seen some passengers now, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, so there we go, and that should give rise to a little bit of growth here in these places, and you will see extra buildings pop up and things, which is cool. Yes, all right, go away. First passengers arrived in Milton Keynes. Good. So there we go, that's a nice little network, and then what I would probably look at doing then is... Well, let's see if there are any other big towns in the area. So, London we've sorted. Let's see where some of these are. Again, you'll have to... Yeah, no, a lot of them in Ireland. Uh, Peterborough's a good long way away. Maybe too far. Oh, no, it's not. What is... Yeah, I forget I forget how miniaturised this map is. Yeah, min, uh, so Peterborough might be worth joining up to that one. Uh, so where were we? Milton Keynes was quite big as well. That's good. Norwich is reasonably close. Although, hmm, yeah, it's a bit too close, really, and there's not much space for expansion there, so we can't really do that. Uh, Leeds, that's a fair way. Yeah, I think that's a good idea if we put uh, Sheffield and Leeds together, possibly with Leicester and Grantham and Grim Grimsby and Middlesbrough. That's not a bad idea. We will have to create a level crossing or possibly a, a bridge over the track that I've built. Um... Going to have to be a, a bridge, I would have thought. Or perhaps it's too high, I'm not sure. Come on, oh, why can't I do this? Oh, here we go, Scarlet Transport. Oh dear. So that's another company set up to try and compete with me. But that's all right, I welcome it. So there we go, we've got a level crossing there. And that's a bit of a steep piece of road. Um, which obviously I don't think these old old-timey buses are particularly going to like, but um, 
yeah, no, oh well, <laughs> we'll see, shall we? We'll see if it see if it ends in disaster. Okay, so Sheffield leads. Where's the biggest? Yeah, that looks a good place to put it. Just one bus, I think. There, get that started. So eventually, if the company gets big enough, I want to probably try and build a train line from Ireland to, well, England, I suppose, and that should be quite lucrative. Right. See if we get any passengers on these. Do, do. Oh, straight away, yeah. Oh, yes. That should be quite a success then. So what sort of money are we making from that? 92 quid. So as you can see, it's a fraction of what the, the trains and things earn. But uh, yes, that's not so bad. Okay, so here's our, well, here's our <laughs> book, if you like. So, what do we have here? Train running costs, £2,000, but train income is 10000 last month, or last year rather, so that's pretty good. Uh, the buses, we didn't have any income from the buses last month, but that's changed now. We've got 1000 so that's good. Obviously, the construction and vehicle purchases are massive compared. And if we, if we can, it'd be nice to knock down this, uh, this loan. That would be nice. So how are we doing with the uh, the objective? So we're 13% of the way there, which isn't too bad. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. So I told you, look, they've uh, they've definitely picked... Uh, ooh, that's annoying, isn't it? So they've picked uh, a tram line in London. So that's a, a rival company that's decided to do that, which is a bit annoying, isn't it? And they've also started, well, they've built a railway station in London, which again annoys me because I wanted to do that. But whatever, whatever, they will do what they will do. So what's the biggest out of Middlesbrough, Scarborough and Grimsby? I would have guessed Middlesbrough, but let's see. So that's 307, that's 332, that's 224. So they're very, very similar, but we'll go with Scarborough because it's convenient. So let's do this. We want a proper road. I don't really know what the difference in the different roads is. I assume that they they handle vehicles better or faster or something. Um, yeah, I would guess that's what it is. So I don't really want to go through the farm. So we'll go around this hill. Is that going to miss the farm? Not quite. Because it is quite expensive to plough through buildings, generally. Come on. Speed it up a bit so we can afford to finish this road. There we go. Oh, come on. Mind you, I'm not going to be able to afford the bus right now, am I? But I need to resist taking out more of a loan because, obviously, that just uh, that just wheezes your money away because you have to pay interest on loans, of course. It's quite high. So there we are. That's a bus stop in Scarborough. I will... Well, I'll tell you what, let's make Sheffield the sort of focal point of this. So we'll build a second bus when I can afford to, uh, which goes from Sheffield to Scarborough. And then you've got sort of separate services. So that should be handy. But that little Sheffield, oh, what's he doing now? Oh, look, <laughs> we've got a rival. Is this, a new, is this the same guy? Who is this? Yeah, it's Scarlet Transport again. I don't know how he's afforded to build such a, such a place and why he's built a... A train station in such a odd location i have no idea although i've been promoted to i didn't see what it was never mind munchkins express has started construction near sheffield really and we've got a new plane invented oh someone's got flying scotsman <laughs> in orange which is a bit odd uh so apparently yeah there's been some construction near sheffield sometimes they try and set up a sort of uh yeah, they sometimes set up a rival line to one you've already got set up, which is a real nuisance. I hate when they do that. But there's not much they can do, and I'm glad I built that road. I built that road in the nick of time. Otherwise, that would have been a nightmare. Good. So, Sheffield to Scarborough. There we go. Start up the bus. And hopefully, it will. I mean, it's a bit more of a distance this time, so this might be a bit more profitable. Or it might not, because obviously, the further you've got to go, the, the longer it is before you get paid, and so the the running costs of the vehicle start to have more of an effect. But no, it is it is getting some 134. Yeah, that's alright, that's pretty good. Oh, we've got Buzzy Trucks. Where are you, Buzzy Trucks? He's building up a hill for some reason. That's clever, isn't it? 
Right, what's next? I think we need another sort of financial industry to build between because otherwise we're gonna yeah we're gonna need uh yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do similar to what i did at the start try and find two industries and bridge them together with a train line and see if i can't make some more money that way uh so let's have a look uh again i don't think there are any is it going to be worth trying this probably not no, is this what he's done so he's bridged between a grain place and this Yes, and the brewery there, which is quite lucrative, I would have thought. So let us find something similar. I mean, that's quite good. Norwich flour mills, because we've got this place producing grain. That's pretty good. Although we now have a bit of a problem because of this, this place here. But I think we could probably get around that. Yes. I wonder. I wonder if I could build across his railway like this. I can't remember whether you can. Ah, okay. No, can't. <laughs> All right. Okay, go away. I'm sorry. It's only an idea. So, can I build elevated track? Do I have to change the type of bridge? No. So, what I need to do then is build it like that. And then I'll delete this. <laughs> so the whole track is sort of elevated. Quite an expensive way of doing it, obviously. But I don't think it will be quite as expensive as if I tried to, you know, try and snake around his railway. That wouldn't be good. Come on, speed up. The good thing is I've managed to pay off quite a lot of loan, which is excellent. That's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. That's always a good sign. Come on, we need to extend this station a bit. Do, 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 do. Okay. And, uh, in fact, I might as well take out a bit more of the load again. This is what you shouldn't be doing, but I'm going to do it. And then, yep, yeah, to the flour mills at Norwich. Um, yeah, we might as well keep it up. Obviously, it's as I say, it's very expensive to do it this way. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it should be that I finish first. So he's built a truck stop, and obviously trucks are nowhere near as effective as trains. Although, he's going to be taking it somewhere else, I think. I don't know. Anyway. Come on, come on. Oh, that's got me competitive spirit awakened, that has. Right. So let's build a station there. And then we'll get a decent engine. I don't know if we'll get an A3. Maybe, maybe. How much are the, how much are the A3s out of interest? Ooh, 10,000. Uh, I think that's probably the end of that then. <laughs> uh, I might get the Fowler 4F. <coughs> Again, excuse me for that. Uh, well, actually, that's not an awful lot cheaper, is it? So what? We, so we've got 750 horsepower there, 400 there, and 400 there. Hmm, it's a lot faster though. Yeah, I think the 4F's a good idea. Look, he's got some trucks running now. Goodness me. Do, 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 do. Well, at least he's not trying to go to my Peterborough farm, that's one thing. Another transport company, blimey. There's a lot of competition this time. So I've taken out as much loan as I dare. Now I'm just going to have to fast forward and see if we can get enough for this. We only need 7,885. Somebody else building roads in the area. This is getting slightly annoying. Uh, right. Oh, I might as well keep playing because we can't afford them right now. Uh, so we're going to want that, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to want hopper wagons, uh, which are £500 a pop, which is expensive again. Man, I hope I don't mess this up. It's been a long while since I've played this. Okay, one, two, 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 two. <sighs> this music, honestly, it really does get into your head. 
problem is, it, it, there's not an awful lot of different tunes, which means they, they come around every every five minutes, and so they, they definitely bore into your head and stay there. Right, one more of these hoppers, I think, and then we'll, we'll go for it. Okay. Did I actually buy one then? Yes. Okay. Come on, this needs to make some decent money. So, load up the grain, and then unload the grain. There we go, very simple. So Norwich Central, there we go, that should be a decent uh, flour mill. I think also, can you build industries? I'm not sure. I thought you could. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Um, um, what's happening? Train three. Oh, it's loading. Why hasn't it gone into the station? Uh, didn't build the station right, did I? There we are. <laughs> so it's loading quite slowly, it looks like, as a result. But that's okay. Should be better for next time. There we are. What sort of earnings? 600 quid? Yeah, we'll take it. And then food's produced. I don't know what we can do with food. Maybe we could take it places. I don't know. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I'm going to try and stop singing because it's weird. <laughs> right. So there we go. Obviously that's a lot faster now. So that's good. I'm pleased with that. Let's have a look what the country's looking like. So as you can see, there are stations and things all over the place. Uh, not in Scotland, but obviously you'd be pretty mad to build in Scotland when there was still... <laughs> Still places down here that are still uh, not spoken for. I don't know why they use trucks though, because trucks make really, really tiny amounts of money. Look at that, monthly profit of 40 quid. That's nothing, is it? I love that you can actually just look at your competitors and find out what they're making. Most of our buses, for example, are making way more than that, except for this one. This one's not doing very well. Well, it's not losing money, so that's the main thing. Uh, this train is not making any money. What's the matter? Do, 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 do. Loading at Leeds. What's it loading? Ah, that's not right. So it needs to stop at Sheffield. Yeah. Go on train. Don't know what went wrong there then. So it's stopping at Sheffield, let's just check this. So it's stopping at Sheffield, waiting for a full load of grain, stopping at Leeds, where it unloads its grain. Yeah. So how long has that not been making us any money for? Producing grain. Yes, we've got another company which seems to be stealing the grain. That's not good. Let's turn these off. Yeah, that big A3 there is becoming a bit of a nuisance with that. So maybe we'll have to think about moving elsewhere with that. Yeah, this competition's pretty serious, isn't it? And we do have a truck service there. Oh, Leicester now accepts passengers. All right, fair enough. Okay, so we've got some decent cash behind us now. So, shall we try a more lengthy passenger run here? So if I build a station at Sheffield, and that is my railway, so I should be able to build across it like that, uh, where we will need some signals, like that, just so that we don't have a crash, because that would, I think, ruin the business, wouldn't it? And then we just need to try and finance a railway that is not going to cost the world. And we've got Grantham in the way, which is a bit of a nuisance on you, Grantham. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's a house missing there, so I'll go through there and only end up demolishing one house. And do we want to go all the way to London or shall we go to Cambridge? Well, funds permitting, we'll go to London because it is the bigger place. So through Peterborough. Keep the railway flat if we can, because it's a long way, so we want it to be as timely as possible. The train, that is. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right. 
so the landscape seems to slope a bit here. So we'll go this way. Oh. Oh. Well, no, we won't then. So what now? It's going to have to be a slope, unfortunately, then. Ah, uh, really? Oh, that's exactly where I put the... <laughs> You wouldn't believe that, would you? That's exactly where I placed the, uh, the the bus stop. That's stupid. I've made a bit of a mess of that farm, but hopefully that's all right. And then there we go, straight into London. Do, 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 do. Sorry, people are going to hate this because I keep <laughs> keep trying to join in with the annoying music. Uh, no, that was too tight. Right. Well, we can keep it at that level then. There we go. So there we are. And that obviously merges with the London bus station, which is good. That's exactly what we want. And now it's just a case of saving up. Did we build the station over here? No. So I better do that. So Sheffield Central. There we go. And I can see there are people waiting at the station, so that's that's reassuring. But I'm not going to be able to afford the engine for a while. So it's a long way, so I need to invest really in a, a big, powerful engine if possible. I suppose I could have electrified it and bought the uh, EMU. That's all we could ever want, really. You see, that's not bad because that's eight grand and that's all in. That hundred passengers plus five bags of mail, just to buy a coach, is forty-eight passengers, and that's two grand. So we'd be crazy not to go for the EMU. The only problem is we don't have electrified track, which is a bit of a pig. Can we just upgrade it? Yes, but it's it's annoying. All oh, connected track. Thank goodness. So that's only cost a grand. Oh, we'd be, we'd be mad not to do that. Yeah. Good, good. So what's this block section system? Does that mean we can actually block the track? That's great. I didn't know we could do that, unless that's what you do when you set up signals. I suppose that might be true. Right. Let's have a look then at our current locomotives and things. Yeah, this, this, this train's still struggling. And it's not making us any money, which is a bit of a pain, and this one's not either, this bus. So the question is, is it worth keeping them on? It's not, it's not worth keeping the train on. In fact, what I could do temporarily is shut this train off, give it up as a bad job, and I could get it, I could, well, yeah. So we'll take it up off the track, get rid of these hopper wagons. Are we getting some money for those? Yeah, small amount. Do, 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 do. And, oh, we've got smaller passenger carriages, but they're not that different in price. Well, let's have two of those. And just while we're waiting for that EMU, well, while we're waiting to be able to afford the EMU, oh, we need to get rid of all the uh, stuff on it. Uh, so we can set this up as a bit of a slow passenger train, just so that we can at least start to earn some money on this line. So let's see how that goes, shall we? See if it's able to pick up some passengers from London, and I think, yes, yeah, they, can, they can bring some bags of mail as well, so that's good. Ah, didn't pick anything up from London, that's a shame. Okay, let's follow it. Oh, it's got five passengers from Sheffield. Now, if we're lucky, hopefully that will earn us quite a bit of money because... How much was it? I didn't see. <laughs> but it should be quite a bit because we've, we've taken it quite a distance. And we can almost afford the DMU. The EMU, rather. In fact, we can. So, I'm going to get rid of that stupid train now. Stop. Going to take it off the track and burn it. There we go. And uh, then put the EMU on, which is a strange black colour. I don't think we can change the colour. Yeah, it goes on the uh, 
the company, unfortunately. But that's okay. Where am I? I've got lost. <laughs> Here we are, Sheffield. So hopefully we will be the first to be using EMUs. We're very modern, aren't we? Let's see if this works. Hang on. How have I still got eight grand? I've just bought an expensive locomotive. Ooh, that sounded like a a diesel or EMU rather. Is it? A, yeah, it is an EMU, isn't it? So there we go. A look at the speed of that. That's great. And you can see the sparks flying from the track. That's pretty cool. Great. There it goes. So that's good. Have we got plenty waiting at Sheffield now? Oh, got lots of coal waiting at Sheffield, oddly. Although, I can't do much about that. We've got 11 passengers, 8 tonnes of steel. We can't do much apart from cater for the passengers. And as you can see, the signals here are working as my Sterling single, single rather, goes past. I just love the way the game works, you know, it's it's brilliant. Look at that, the level crossing's shut. Not that it needs to, because the road goes nowhere. Look at that, it's brilliant. So there we go, passengers on. It's only got one passenger. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be very profitable, actually, then, is it? Particularly. Do, do, do. How's this grain train going? Yes, it's going well. Where's my other train? I might add a few more wagons to it. Because this one's profitable. This is the most profitable. So what I might try and do... The thing is, the loco will need upgrading, won't it? Yeah, we'll leave it then, because the loco's still got plenty of life left in it yet. Okay, cool. Well, let's go over and have a look in Ireland then, because no competition has sprung up in Ireland, so we might get some uh, might get some opportunities here. So I've seen there's a food processing plant here, and there's a farm. Where's the farm? Is this the farm? So that's not bad. It doesn't. It seems to me though that the food industry doesn't pay as much as the sort of coal and power industry does. So that's producing coal. Hey, I like the look of that. Is there a power station anywhere in Ireland? No. <laughs> Come on, Ireland. You can't be this. Hmm. That's a brewery. Requires grain. Have we got any grain farms? Because alcohol. Sells well, right? <laughs> Producing grain. Yeah, that's a good distance. Yeah, shall we do that? We will supply the brewery with grain. I mean, it's the first I've heard of breweries requiring grain. It's hops, isn't it, they need? Not grain, but I don't know very much about alcohol, I must say, so I will... I'll allow myself to be corrected if that's not true. Ah, let's have a look. Right, an S-Bend should do it. There we go. Good, good, good. So, how can we do this and keep the track flat? Well, I think even putting curves in the track slows down the trains, so we are better to dig through this field of cows or whatever it is. Sorry, cows. Your lives are going to be considerably more miserable from now on with this train track. I don't think it's possible to hit and kill animals with the trains. Well, I could be wrong. So let's get a level crossing through here. Doo, doo. Ah, this is going to be interesting. So we're going to have to dig through there. Yeah. Oh, we've run out of cash again. To be honest, I'm surprised we managed to build as much as that with the cash at hand. Keep going. Yeah, it's definitely not very economical trying to go diagonally through hills. <laughs> it's a bit of a foolish thing for me to do, really. What's the matter? Yeah. For some reason it won't let you alter the land. 
while you're working on it. That's strange. Okay. So we want to go just a bit further. Ugh, this is frustrating, isn't it? Yes, strange looking geometry on the, on the ground here. Uh, shall we... We need one more. And now we can turn. You can change the size of your paintbrush that you're destroying land with, but... To be honest, it gets a bit... Oh, come on. Then it gets a bit expensive because you tend to start shifting land that you don't need to shift. There we are. So now at least we only have to move one block of earth at a time. Cambridge Chemical Works is closing down. I can only hope that some of my competitors is using it. It looks like they are. Or perhaps not. No, perhaps they're just driving past. Ah, that's a shame. I would love to see one of my, the demise of one of my competitors. But I've moved over to Ireland, I'm, I'm uh, running away from them. So this is a tunnel now, as you can see, and it's costing an awful lot to build underground. We've got a tunnel mouth, you can see, it's put in for us. It's costing an, an incredible amount of money to do this. I just hope it's going to be worth it. There we go. That's it. So that's the end of the tunnel. And that brings us spot on to the plant. Or to the brewery, yeah, it's not a food processing plant, is it? So there we are, that's cork. And then we need a station here at the grain farm. And this is where we get the message to say that this uh, baling stove farm is closing down and we're not going to be able to use it. That's when I go bust. So we're going to have to use steam for this, I don't think there are any electrical options for this although they do keep in inventing new trains and things so we might be we might be able to use them knock the loan up again and then we'll uh, once this is up and running we'll take a close look at the profits and see how it's going so we've now got the stania jubilee which costs 10 grand uh, it's not as powerful as the a3 but it's a little bit cheaper the running cost is a bit less as well um, same speed. Yeah, that's not a bad. That's not a bad thing. I think we might go with that then. We can almost afford it. Our speed is up. Production up. Good. Okay. So there's the jubilee, looking very lovely in a nice black livery there. And then what we what we yeah it's good isn't it? Um, but but uh, yeah we need the hoppers don't we? Yeah. Green, yeah. Okay, speed is up. Save up for some of these. DC3, anyone recognise that? I hate to say it, but I don't. <laughs> there we are, seven wagons. Right, if I put it in the bailing, sto bailing slow station, hopefully it will start there. Full load of green, please. And unload it all at cork. And let the alcohol production commence, I suppose. There we are. So it's loading up with the grain. Ooh, good, good. This is going to be nice. Can't wait to see how much this one makes. Oh, it's off. Ooh, it's shooting off. 50 miles an hour, and it's a nice straight track, of course. Look at that. That's pretty quick, isn't it? A lot faster than the 4F. So it's a fairly direct line, I think, isn't it? It's not bad. Right, let's have a look at the earnings. This should be a good one, folks. Ah. Need to destroy that bit of road, really, then. Yeah, I'll get on to that. We need to get rid of that bit of road so that we can make the whole station fit in one go. There we are. Well, that was easy. It's normally a right job destroying roads. There. So that should be faster, because obviously time is money in this game. Uh, I didn't see any income from it. Do, do. Okay. Let's try that again. Come on, load. <laughs> Seemed to load very quickly last time, but I suppose there are quite a lot of hoppers on there. There. Whoa, stop. 
Right, see if we can see. Come on. Oh, crikey. Yeah, that's it, folks. That's what we needed. Basically, we could pay the loan off from just that alone. Yeah, that was great. Okay, so let's have a look at our finances then. So we've got a current train income of, well, last year it was 38,000. That seems a lot. But we did spend 27,000 on construction. Uh, how are the buses doing? So the buses are bringing in eight grand and costing just under two. So that's all right. Let's have a look at the buses. I've not taken off the buses that aren't making any money because these cities should grow, hopefully. Especially, that's one good thing about the competitors. They should help the places to grow. And if we have a look at the population, that's not grown an awful lot. I can't really, to be honest, remember what it was to start with. But, yeah, it was pretty... I think it is growing slowly. Right, paying off this loan. And we're halfway to completing the challenge. So if we're halfway there, I'm going to save this game. There we go. Yep. And we will come back to this, folks, next time, I think. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this. Also, let me know if you didn't, although if you didn't, you're probably not still here. And if you'd like to see the uh, second part, let me know. And if enough people do, I will film a second part. Okay, folks, cheers. Take care.